Somebody say, always. That might sound familiar. We played it last night and uh, I don't know. It's the number one song. That is Javante Patton, North Minneapolis native gospel singer. And now for the sixth time, his music has made it to the very top of a billboard chart. So of course, it wasn't just enough to play the tune. We had to go talk to him and Charmaine got the lucky assignment today. Charmaine, that particular song, what did Javante tell you about it? Well, Jana, Patton has always been a singer, but the inspiration behind his new song started during the pandemic when his prayers turned into this hit new song that's now a source of inspiration for people nationwide. Always Singing from the heart. And Father, I need you. North Minneapolis native Javante Patton is now topping the gospel charts, but his love for singing started when he was just four years old. You know how kids want to be like a doctor or a firefighter, they say in school, I always wanted to be a singer. My first opportunities of being able to sing was at my church, which is in North Minneapolis. I grew up at called Berean Missionary Baptist Church on 30th and Lindale. So being there my whole entire life, singing in the choir, directing the choir, those are my first opportunities to sing. This week, Patton's hit song Always off his new album established reached number one on the billboard gospel airplay charts he also had the honor of attending the acclaimed stellar awards in july i got a chance to perform on the pre-show uh, my hit song which is number one this week on gospel billboard airplay chart and so i'm just so grateful and excited for that standing alongside his idols one moment stood out the most kurt franklin is like michael jackson of gospel music so um, I had an interaction with him where there was an interviewer that was kind of trying to like be a little, you know, nasty. And Kirk is like, no, let him go. He's a new artist. He has a good song out. And so to kind of get that push from Kirk Franklin that moment. Patton's influence goes beyond music. He's instrumental in the community, helping to encourage people to use their voices at the polls. I always want Northside to know I'm tangible but I'm also somebody that has done it and, and is always doing it. As far as his legacy. I hope that my music legacy wise is impactful and it's sang in churches, that it's used in film, that it is used in um, movies and, and just moments in time that people can always have a boost of faith. Um, and then I also just want my, my children to be able to hold on to that legacy as well. And the people in his community who have always lifted him up. North Minneapolis has created uh, me. Um, I'm from, we like to call it the hood. You know, most people don't normally make it out or there's not really a good story with someone in North Minneapolis. So um, they've caused a grit, a resilience that I probably couldn't have gotten anywhere else and, and the, the, the support from the north side that I get is unmatched. Now Patton says he's now focused on growing his church the wave and he's also serving as a manager for his daughters who have a new song on the way. Jana. I can't imagine that I could have a question. Daughters have a song starting a new church six number one hits but with him it doesn't surprise me. Absolutely, and he's a pillar in the North Minneapolis community. I've seen him out there, so he's just great all around. That's awesome. Thanks so much for that story, Charmaine. Excellent job.